Strings are like ordered collections of characters and they're super important for handling text. We're going to check out their cool features and how they work in the Elixir shell. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal, command space terminal, and then just go ahead and type IAX to get the Elixir shell up and running. So strings are essentially sequences of characters. So within quotations, if we say hello, comma, world, exclamation point, close those quotation marks, and then hit enter, that's a string for you. So Elixir strings are UTF-8 encoded, which means they can handle a huge variety of characters. So like we can do something like um, we can add an emoji within two quotations and it can handle that, it's a string. So Elixir is pretty neat with um, embedding expressions within strings. And so here's an example of string interpolation. Now, don't think about this too hard. I'm going to create a variable here um, called name. And a variable is basically a bucket that can hold a value. And we're going to get more into detail with this later, but I'm going to set this equal to a string called Elixir, okay? And then I'm just hitting enter and it's stored in that. So if I type name here, it will return Elixir. And so string interpolation allows us to basically pass in a variable, but have it um, part of a string. So inside double quotation marks, I can say hello, comma, and then you just do a um, hashtag and then opening and closing curly braces. And inside those curly braces, you type in the variable name, which is name in our case. And then when we hit enter, it actually displays uh, the string value that was there. And that's called string interpolation. And now you can also do string um, concatenation. That is done with um, basically here let's have a string here called hello and then we can let, we'll put a comma there and then using the string concatenation operator which is less than greater than and then we can just add another string here and then we can say world and when we hit enter it will merge these two together so there it goes, it merges them together and that's called string concatenation. Now you can also, it also supports multi-line strings using the triple double quotes. So if we do something like this, triple like three quotes and then hit enter, say this is, and then we can hit enter again, a multi-line, enter string, and then enter, and then we can close it with three more quotes. And so this allows us to have a string span multiple lines without having uh, a bunch of different strings. And then you can hit enter and it puts it all together. And you'll see the, basically the backslash N is an escape sequence for a new line. So that's why you see that there. So now the string module, which we get with Elixir is loaded with a bunch of handy functions as well. So we can do things like string dot length and pass in a string, say hello, and it will return five because there are five letters in hello. So that is the length of the string. And then we can also do things like string dot upcase. So if we say hello, all lowercase and hit enter, it returns it all uppercase for us. And then we can obviously, there's an opposite to that. We can do a down case and we can pass in hello, all caps. And now it returns all lowercase. And then we can also do something called string trim. And then if we pass in a string, we're gonna put a space at the beginning, hello, space at the end. And then when we hit enter here, it will return, it will remove the space at the beginning and the end. And then you can also do things like string dot split. And we can say, uh, hello world. And then 
where we want it to split, we do a comma, and we want it to split at the space. So we just do an empty string with a space, and then close off that parentheses, and we're going to get a list back of our little sentence split into two different words. Hi, I'm Jacob. I help companies build scalable fault tolerance systems in Elixir. With over a decade of experience, I specialize in solving complex technical challenges, whether that's architecting new systems, implementing real-time processing, or scaling existing applications. I work with teams worldwide to deliver high-performance solutions that deliver results. If you need help with your next Elixir project, visit elixirmentor.com to schedule a call. So now special characters and strings use escape sequences so a few examples is so the new line one the escape sequence new line basically puts it down so if i do io dot puts and then i say in quotations line one backslash n line two uh closing quotations and then close this off hit enter it returns to line one and line two on different lines and now you're probably wondering, well, why, where, what is IO puts? So IO puts is a function that is used to output strings to the standard output. Otherwise, we would just see the exact string we typed with the escape sequence there. So you will see this used for like IO puts will be used for debugging a lot and logging. So like when you want to have logs to your server, you might use an IO puts. So that is a common practice but just uh, as an example like i'm going to copy and paste this with the the new line escape sequence and if i hit enter see it just returns it the same way so doing io puts formats it the way you would expect it and it also supports tabs so if we do io puts we can do um, column one and then backslash t is tab and then column two and then close that string off close the parentheses oops i'll put it's not i'll put and now you'll see that it has a tab in between them which is pretty cool and <clears throat> lastly um, you can add the double quote so like inside of a string if you want quotation marks, you can do the escape, which is the backslash quotation. So we can do IO puts, and then we can say, um, she said, now backslash quote, hello, and then backslash quote, and then closing quote, and there you go. And now it will spit out and keep the quotation marks in the value returned. So those are a few escape sequences that you can use. Now under the hood, strings are really binaries. So if we do, if we do um, hello as a string and then check to see if it's equal to 104 comma, 101 comma, 108 comma, 108 comma, 111. All right, and so that's the binary representation of hello. So when I hit enter, it's going to say true. So under the hood, that is what hello looks like in binary. We have to be careful because string operations can impact performance. Appending to like appending to a string is O of N, which means the execution time or space requirements grow uh, linearly linearly, linearly, <laughs> with the size of the input data. So the longer the string, the more time it takes to append a value to the end. So sometimes prepending to the front can be more efficient. So that's just something to think about. And I think that's a good spot to stop because as you've seen, strings are incredibly uh, versatile and they're a crucial part of programming. So experiment around, play around with the Elixir shell, and I'll see you in the next video.